Okay guys, uh, Gary from DIY Electronics. So first off, I just want to thank you for your purchase. And what I'm, we're going to do now is I'm going to walk you through step by step from taking your ESP32 and putting the bin file on it and get it up and running um, at 9,000 mega hashes a second. And also I'm going to get you up and running so that you can view it on the Arduino IDE uh, serial monitor. Okay, because you will get the... Um, that little tiny OLED, okay, um, but it's a lot nicer looking at it when it's hashing away on the serial monitor. And when you know your friends come over, you say, "Hey, look at this!" and they get a nice big screen to look at it, seeing that it's hashing it anywhere from eight thousand to nine thousand mega hashes. All right, but there are a few things that you're going to need to make sure that it goes smoothly for you. Uh, first thing you're going to need is you got to make sure that the USB drivers on your computer are up to date for the CP2102 UART uh, to USB. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. Um, and then we're going to get the ESP tool. That's how you upload the bin file to the ESP32. Um, then we'll um, show you, you know, show you it running after it's all done and said and uh, up and running. And then we're going to, um, I'm going to show you on the Arduino IDE it running but I'm going to show you on the Arduino IDE that it's running right now I'm going to put a bare minimum sketch on it so that it wipes it totally out and then I'm going to walk through and upload the bin file to it okay so what I want to do is I'm going to bring you down here first and I want to get you nice and close and personal with the OLED and show you that it is mining alright how are we going to do this here this here and right there, you can see it's mining at 8,000 feet. Oh, it's ramping up, 73. Woo, look at that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that there. Okay, yeah, that looks good. And I'm going to bring this down. <clears throat> and you can see up here that it is hashing. Okay, and I do remember I told you I do have that built-in um, system failure, the minor overheats. It'll shut down cool down and then it'll ramp right back up to 8,000 mega hashes okay that way it doesn't burn out the uh, ESP32 well that's what you can tell your friends but <laughs> really uh, the uh, ESP32 is only running it very cool <laughs> and you guys know why because this thing is not hashing at 9,000 this is a gag gift now you guys got to remember that this thing does not mine at 9,000 mega hashes. It's a gag. And I have it well documented on YouTube. If you, if uh, those, those people out there calling me an asshole and everything else would take the time to read the description, they could t tell right there it is a gag. It is not real. All right, so anyways, let's get to it. So here we are here um, with the ESP32 running at 9,000 mega hashes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it out. I'm going to to shoot the bare minimum uh, sketch into that, and so that that way we know it's totally you know um, wiped out. And then we'll load the bin file back onto it. All right, here we go. I'm going to send that bare minimum um, sketch to it. Let's wait for it to finish. And you'll notice on here. Once the sketch goes on there, it'll no longer hash. It'll just, it'll lock up the at the lash hash that it did before it got the uh, bare minimum sketch. All right, here we go. It's uploading it to the ESP32 right now. <clears throat> Let's wait for it to load. We're at 80%, 90%. 100%. Okay. All right. If you notice right now, there is no hashing anymore because it's got the new sketch on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to power it down. I'm going to power it back up. And now you notice that it is totally dead. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, guys. I want to go to full screen on this so you guys can see everything I'm doing. Okay, as you can see right here, 
it is no longer hashing it stopped it just stopped dead in its tracks so we'll get rid of this so the first thing you want to do is you want to go you want to put this right into your um, address bar up here CP 2102 driver and you want to click on this very first one then click on downloads and then universal download this is the very newest one it's only boo, about a month old okay this is the one you want to do so you just click on it download it it's a zip file okay so we've got it uh, not yet oh, right there so I'm going to open the folder and uh, no, I don't want to do it that way get out of there because I've already got this so I'm just going to open the folder where it is so here it is it's a zip file matter of fact I'll open it I'm going to right click I'm going to extract all and I'm going to extract it right to my downloads extract just let her go and here it is all extracted that's all you have to do all right now you can just leave this alone you just X out of that X out of that and what you want to do is go right over here to your start menu, this start little window here and right click on it come up to device manager you want to hit com com and LPT ports and right there that's the only one I have on my machine is com 3 so now you might have three or four of them so what you would do is you go say it was it's it said three four five six seven eight you just remember what numbers were there and then you unplug unplug your ESP32 and you see that oh number three is gone so I'll plug it back in and there it is okay so now what you want to do is you want to double click on it and you want to go to port settings you want to make sure that this is set at 115 200 okay usually it's set at 9600 but you want to set it uh, where, where to go 115 200 and say okay all right then you want to double click on it again and you want to go driver then you want to go update driver then you want to say browse my computer then right down here say let me pick from a list all right right here is the new um, software that I just picked up so I'm gonna highlight that and say next and it says Windows has successfully updated your drivers say close and then say close now it wants you to restart your computer but don't restart it yet because you have to restart it after the next software you that you get that's the ESP tool alright so I'm gonna say no not yet but you definitely have to restart your computer all right so now we're going to go ESP tools so this is what you put in your uh, address bar just put in ESP tools and don't go to github go to this one here express press if or express if all right hit tools and what you want to do is the very first tool at the top of the list it says flash download tools you want to hit the download and I'll go ahead and do it I gotta reset my computer anyways alright so it goes through all this and you'll come down here to flash tool just download it I just clicked on it and when it comes up just download it to your download folder and once it finishes I'll show you where it goes alright here it is and then I'll just click on it so once you're in here you right click and then you say extract all I don't want to extract all again because I've done this like six times on this computer I, I've already got the flash download and I'll show you where it is okay so now what we have to do at this point is I have to pause the video and reboot my computer because um, when you mess with the USB ports and that that uh, driver like I did you have to reboot your computer so I'm going to come back and I'm just going to stop the video and I will meet you guys back here.